Hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today I'm continuing playing with Siactro developed and published games with Kiwi64. Now, this game recently had a, uh, a, a reimagining or a remake, or uh, I guess an extended version, because what we're playing today is Kiwi64, which is more of like a demo. Whereas uh, recently Super Kiwi 64 came out, which is more of a full-fledged game, as you could say. Even if, it's exp if the experience is, uh, from what I understand, to be quite short. But surprisingly, looking this game up, it, this game came out actually before Silver Trigger 64. Well, this demo, this proof of concept. Came out, according to Game Jolt, on the 5th of September 2014. So, I think this is like the first one. <clears throat> now, if you're wondering what order I'm going in, um, in terms of uh, these games, is uh, Siactro has a, uh, a itch.io page, and I'm literally playing him in that order. The very the, the game at the very bottom is uh, Silver Trigger 64, and then after that you have Kiwi 64, then McBat 64, then at the very top you have Super Kiwi 64, with then after that Tori 2 and Tori 3D. So I thought that um, it was in order of release, but I, I guess it isn't. But we'll just go in the order that Siactro lists them on their itch.io page. So. <coughs> So yeah, I like the 1998 Ultra Nintendo. 1998. I don't think you made this in 1998, but it's funny. And it doesn't look like this game has controller support, so... It's fine. Alright. In case you're wondering what the kind of game this is, by the way, it's like a collect-a-thon kind of game, so... I will stay on top of this game! I will stay on top so this game will become a flop! One evil melon on top of a mountain? The perfect game plot. <laughs> Alright, so here we are with uh, with our Super Kiwi. A cool dude, look at him. Hello! I have an attack button. They're uh, quite different, because I've had a little go on Super Kiwi 64, and it's interesting playing this after having a little go. I haven't finished it yet. We will celebrate when you're gone. Your actual chance is to win or nothing. I think that's what he said. But yeah, it's interesting playing this after playing a little bit of Super Kiwi 64. The only Siactro game, by the way, I've fully finished is McBat 64. Because so I wanted to wait until I was able to... Uh, Get to a set so I can play all these games. So like, and I want to like unique. I guess not unique. I guess like first time reactions. I guess. Why is there bananas? Oh, here comes the evil banana. Oh, oh, you can collect kiwis for health. That's fantastic. But the music, the just everything about. This is fan. It, to me, I love it. It's just it, it's the atmosphere that this game has that really catches, in my opinion. The music. Just I I remember. Um, oh. Hey. Hey there. We're the grapes. Couple of our siblings are going missing. Don't you worry a thing. I'll find them. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what kind of voices I want to do for these. Oh, and she knows. But I fell in love with McBat 64. I fell in love with its music mostly. Ooh. But if you don't know, this game is. Oh, this. This demo. <laughs> I see you walk around aimlessly around this film, but what you don't know is my skin is like a shield. <laughs> Did you know there are four secret letters hidden in this world? I wonder if I'll get for. I wonder what I'll get for collecting them all. <laughs> it's if you yeah again if I what I was gonna say is if you haven't figured it out already this is Banjo Kazooie that's what it's inspired by it's inspired by Banjo Kazooie so. Jump around all your life, but soon you'll feel my mind. Kiwi 65. 
help me, I am the true sequel. However, the game developers decided to make a car game instead, so they locked me in here. A car game? What a sin, I'll help you. I guess maybe I gotta get all the letters. We'll just collect all the music notes. Get wrecked. But yeah, so collect the thought. Go around, get all the all the things. Ah! And that's basically the game. You may say it's a little bit, I guess, uh, content lacking, but I love this. Just it's the atmosphere. That's what yeah, I don't. You just don't don't get it. The atmosphere here is fantastic. Mystery eggplant. Oh, we must get the mystery eggplant. The music, this, the, the atmosphere, it's just all fantastic. I bought the McBat 64 um, OST, by the way. Because when McBat 64 first came out, I left a comment on... Because there was no description... I looked in the description, there was nothing in the description, but I left a comment saying, basically... Um, where oh, God. I left a comment saying, um, where can I get the soundtrack? The soundtrack's awesome. They were like, oh yeah, okay, I didn't realize that maybe people would like the soundtrack track. But I've now included it in the description. So, I included it to a page where I can basically go going and get it. And I don't remember the dude's name, unfortunately. And if I alt-tab out of this to look it up, it will, <laughs> it will, for some reason, minimize the game. Don't ask. So... You know, when I look at McBat64, I'll make sure to uh, to reference who, who the, the person who does the soundtrack as well. Oh my god, what is this? I'll, also, I've not played this before. I've played a little bit of Super Kiwi 64, but not the original. What is this thing? I don't know, I'm trying to think what kind of voice you would do for this. Look like a dinosaur looking voice. I feel like you just want to have them in, like, oh, I really, really want an apple. However, I don't think there's a big enough apple for me. Oh. Don't you worry a thing, I'll get you that apple. And also, is your voice kind of that normal? Yeah. I just because just I'm big doesn't mean uh, I have to have some, you know, funny voice. Is there a tie? Is that a tie? What is that? What is this? Oh yeah, this... There's a... <laughs> I forgot there's a jumping attack. There's a similar attack, um... Oh god, get caught on there. But yeah, there's a similar similar attack, but it's more refined in Super Kiwi 64. Okay, and we have like a, a tree, tree here. We have the Deku tree. Cool, we got a, um, we got a grape. Please don't destroy my heart! Why would I? It's not like there's something valuable inside, right? I said I'm destroying your huts. It's been already written in stone. All of your huts will be destroyed. The letters will be mine. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I got a, um, a, a lamp. I wonder what that's about. Oh, we need a W for Kiwi. Ah, I see. We will get it. Beautiful. Give me, give me, give me. Alright, so we gotta get up there. There's, there is a big enough apple. We probably have to smash into the apple. No! <laughs> oh, there's a little great man over there as well. The only thing I will probably fault 
that's interesting. The only thing I'll fault this game for, for me personally, could have had more than one music track. You have now got the Kiwi. You collected all four letters. Amazing. Here's your prize. Have another lamp. Very nice. I'm guessing we're supposed to spin attack this thing. Have your apple. Oh, wonderful! Thank you so much! Here, take this as a thank you. Fantastic. Guess I can jump down and get that, but I don't want to do that yet. Why? Because I actually know I can get up there easily. Get that. Alright, let's jump down. Oh, there's full damage. I think it'll be full damage. I don't know how many grapes there are. Oh, there is three. Thank you so much, you take this, may I help you? I, I forget what kind of voices I'm doing for them half the time. Alright, the real question is, is, where's the fifth one? How do we get the eggplant? Guess we got a free mate boy. Destroyed his huts. We weren't too happy about that. But I don't think we want to be going up here yet. Oh, there's a key up here. Thank you so much. If you bring me 16 glass, I will let you play me right away. 60 clefs. I don't even know how many I've got, actually. I've collected every single one I've come across. Does that count? i to jump down again. Yeah, you can cancel the full damage a little bit. So there's... Oh! What the hell? He's, he's looking like, what the hell that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Destroy the melon. Oh, is that it? No, I want to play. Let me play. Let me play Kiwi 65. Jay Mosser, I think it just said the uh, soundtrack. So we've beat the game, uh, effectively speaking. Oh, the eggplant. How do we get the mystery eggplant? How we do this? Let me in. I wish to do this. Let me in. No, not the mystery eggplant. But we must find out what the mystery eggplant does. Oh. Well, the game was gonna end. I guess not. Fantastic. There's gotta be something where the melon man was, right? King Melonhead? Oh, come on, there's gotta be. So, we got him his apple. Destroyed his huts, even though he wasn't very happy about it. We don't care about what some Deku tree looking looking ass wants. Oh god. I didn't think that was going to bounce me that way. Uh, we've helped the grapes. Oh! The melon's now in the ground. It's gotta be something up here, right? Wait. All the way up here. Ooh, that looks a bit ominous, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Would you not say so, Kiwi? Would you say that? That looks very ominous looking. Scenery. 
So, uh, nice little kiwi. I really want to jump down there, but I want the eggplant. I don't know how to... What is the mystery eggplant do? Maybe it's to do with... The, he said it would let me claim him now, but... No, I'm going to land on the uh, melon man. And we'll come back up here. Whee! See? Cancel all full damage. Ah! We got on top of him! Yes, I don't think we're meant to be up here. Oh, yeah, very clearly not meant to be up here. Get wrecked! You dance on your corpse! Haha! Uh -huh. Funny! You're gonna let me play you now. I like how he goes, oh yeah, come over here, I'll let you play me now. No, he doesn't let me play him. False advertising. Right, fine. We'll go back up to the uh, thing. Back up to the top of the tree. See if falling down. Oh god! I did press the space bar. This is the problem when you when you use keyboard controls for platformers. And I'm going to stick with that response every day of the week. I'm not a big fan of having keyboard and mouse for controlling a platformer, if I'm honest with you. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing too bad. It's just every now and then, like, you press the space bar, and it, I just feel like it doesn't read my space bar input. But then again, you have to understand how I'm controlling this, as I'm pressing the space bar, not dead in the center of the space bar, but to the left. So... Right, let's go down here and find out. Why? Oh. Oh, that's a bit... Oh, that's a bit anticlimactic. I figured there'd be some kind of, like, hole into the abyss. Well, I guess that's it then. I guess there is nothing nothing else. Try and get out of bounds. It's one of, one of the last things we can try doing. What do you think the closest out of bounds area is? There? Looks to me that there is probably a good show. Nope. Nope, can't reach far, far enough. Well, I think that's it. I think that's, there's, there's nothing else I don't, do think that you can do. Now, obviously, there's got to be some way of unlocking that mystery eggplant. I just got no clue how to do it. Oh, not a Scooby. All right. Well, I guess that's that. So that was super... Uh, that was not super. That was Kiwi 64, not Super Kiwi 64. It was Kiwi 64. Lovely little, um... Little, like, demo. It's more it is basically like a demo. You play one level and go around like that. Yeah, really nice little sweet little game. Definitely give uh, hits that nostalgic vibe from uh, the N64. I've been Bio, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.